Hi guys, and welcome back to the Not Great Gamer. So we're jumping straight back in with Recar. Um, sorry about the end of the last episode. My Xbox turned off just as I was saying goodbye, and I have no idea why I did it. Um, so we, we've just... Um, so we've managed to kill Iron Fang. Uh, we've got a prison core. We've restarted our crawler, and we're just about to fix Mac up. Um, so you can bring him over to the workbench, and it lets you know what you can do. Uh, reach, uh, research, quick, uh, change loadouts, and upgrade core bots. Yep. So go on blueprints, uh, frame type, it's K9 unit, and research that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so oh, down the right hand side, you'll see about the parts that you need um, and like how many red fusion points you need for it. So if you click that, yes, it's researched. And then, uh, so you come out of the menu, and then you go to equip parts on him. And then you select his legs, which is down at the bottom. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. If I come back to, uh, it won't let me do it. So I have to equip this. And then a save load out. And there you go, done. So he's got like increased attack. Uh, he's got slightly better defense and slightly better energy because he's got an upgraded part on him. Um, when you're looking throughout like the world and stuff like that, you'll find, um, there they go. Uh, in your room to gather required materials. Oh, okay. Okay, Mac. Oi, okay, okay. Ready to help that? me fix that, that terraforming pylon? Let me have a look at this. Blueprints. Okay, nine. Ah, I've got the rest of these basically, uh, but I haven't got the parts to uh, unlock them, so I need some more. And basically, I'll just make them look red. Um, you can get some really cool looking ones. Um, I think you can make him look like a wolf. You can also make him look like a crow as well, which is just weirdly satisfying. Um, so there's loads of objectives because that was basically the tutorial yeah stash transfer that'll happen automatically you just transfer it automatically as soon as you enter i'm not sure if i can upgrade his stuff now because i've i've transferred loads of stash over uh yes i can i can make i'll make his back legs yep and i'll make his i can't make them because i need one more valve so i'm gonna put that on him just to make him look a little bit more even. That's uh, better. Uh, and then come out. Save load out. Done. Uh, core fusion as well. You can upgrade him. So uh, at the top right hand corner. You can see that uh, they're the cores that I have. Uh, so if I, uh, if I do that. I put one core in. Uh, and you need five. And his attack goes up. So I'm going to put them all up by one. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh damn. Uh, reject that. I'll do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I might put a little bit more into this and his attack, actually. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then exit, and then accept the changes. And there you go, he's permanently increased. So that's good. Uh, and your stash is basically, that's everything that you have. Um, you know when I said you destroy car bots? When you destroy core bots, they drop parts. When you extract them, you get the, the core, which is in the top right-hand corner. Um, so, yeah, basically, we've upgraded back. So, that's really good. Uh, we now need to leave. Exit. Um, like I said before, you get you do get more core... Uh, you personally get more core bots, like helpers. Uh, and they all do unique things. The difficult thing is, is knowing which core bot to take with you when you go out because you can't switch them unless you're in a crawler um i'll explain that when we get to it um it'll probably be in a couple of episodes i can't remember how long it is before you have like your basic three so i'll have to i'll have to wait and see that one really <coughs> sorry about the coughs as well um so yeah i'm really happy to be playing this game it is such it's it's well worth picking up because it is such a chilled out game. There's no one is in the next sector, Mac. Um, it it's a single player only game. There's no multiplayer either, so it's it's really really interesting. It's really really cool. Uh, they're red. Um, so Max a blue carbot. Um, they're red ones, which means he's less effective against them. Um, There's the crawler gate. Oh, some music started. Manual override since our hunk of junk is buried in the sand. Um, 
So the whole aim of the game is you, you do actually have to explore as well because there's like there's stuff over there that you can go get, but we're quite low level at the moment. Um, so I'd rather just level up a little bit before we go exploring. Um, like get our attack up and get uh, some decent... Um, get like Mac up to a decent level as well. Um, so yeah. You do need to level up. Like your attack goes up. Uh, their, your core bot defense goes up and stuff like that. So it's all really, really good. Uh, dash with B to extinguish flames. Oh yeah, you can be set on fire. Great. Because... No game would ever be not complete without setting you on fire. So yeah, that's a factor. Um, so I'm going to try and keep these uh, these ga um, gameplay. The, well, it is gameplay. I'm going to try and keep these episodes to 15 minutes. Um, just because I feel that 15 minutes is a good all-round number. Uh, it's not an even number. I never said that. I said an all-round number. The closest planet with an Earth-like atmosphere. Uh -huh. It wasn't perfect, but uh -huh. it sure had potential. Yes, it did. Um... So yeah, I want to try and keep it to around 15 minutes because they're, they're a good chunk to have on a weekday. Oops, I might do this one. Extract, give me this. Got it. Come on, you're mine, you're mine. There we go. Man, I want you. There we go. So, kind of just one. The, the, yeah. The thing at the moment is basically you just want everything. Um, when you get into like the specifics of the game, you'll then realize that like, what you need, and you'll be specifically looking for those parts. But for the time being, just go get fucking everything. Everything you can see, just go get it. Uh, it's at the beginning of any game. You just want to get everything, don't you? Um, do I need to? There we go. We're in another cutscene. I like how in cutscenes Mac changes as well. Like what you put on him, that changes in cutscenes. It's totally grounded. <gasps> I know, Mac. Let's get to the pylon before that storm hits. Oof. It's gonna be dangerous. There's a storm, I can't see it. Uh, okay. Um. That structure is the pylon's control center. Or what's um, left of it, anyway. Is there any more parts around? I don't want to miss any parts, because I really don't want to come back. But, um, holy crap, let's get shit down there. Oh, there's someone up there as well. Someone behind me? Another one? Nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, there is. There's one there. I thought there was. Get some parts. Are those canine frames? What? Like any I've ever seen. Holy crap! Ooh, that's a quite a big one. Um, I need to get up here. Nope, couldn't make it up there. I want to get that part. There we go. You can, if you're sneaking up on something, you can. You can try and extract it straight away. And there you go. You don't even have to uh, attack. Whoa, where's all the things? Where's it gone? Oh, there he is. That's quite a big one. He's quite a big one. Give us that. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll just blow him up, it'll be easier. Shield break! Get him, Mac. Oh, it blew up. Okay. Someone must have modified the frames. Wow, that was. That was bizarre. It's good, but bizarre. Uh, I think I need to get up there as well. Um. They're quite big. I think they can get, but I think they can go one bigger. So you have like, you have your normal ones, uh, and then you have like um, some quite uh, like powerful ones, basically. I want to get these first. 
Do do do. One lenses. Keep forgetting I can dash. There's no stamina bar, so you can dash as much as you want. Uh, just want to make sure there's nothing around. Box. Love opening boxes. Good. This is what you get um, parts from. So I've just got all of that basically. Um, you can get new, new like can like um, back parts basically. Hello. Sometimes it's quite hard to see. Like the little bots, anyway. Ooh, look at that. Um, so there's parts down there, but I want to try and get over there first. Ooh, that was close. So I'm trying to get all of these. I'm pretty sure I can probably get up there. Yes, I can. Uh, there's nothing up here though. Oh, yes there is, there we go. That's what I'm after, I'm after these. So as you can probably tell, this game, this uh, playthrough is going to be a little bit more chilled than anything I've played in the past. Um, like a full playthrough. Um, I'm really excited about doing this because I, I find this game really interesting and I really want to see what's at the end of it. Um, so what's this? Oh, is it just telling me to keep going? Hello! Oh! Look at that! Try and get a sneak, a sneak extract. I think you get more XP for doing it. Yeah, I think you get more XP. Uh, of course, there is stuff to blow up, which is great. Uh, whoa, what's that? So done it. Yes, there is. So can I can extract that. Why can't I lock onto it? No, 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 okay, I'll leave him for the moment. No, I might come in. Might come for him. No, he isn't. That's fine. I like how Mac doesn't just doesn't attack on sight. It's just great. Um, there's more stuff over here. This is great. The storm's getting worse. We need to get inside quick. No, no, there's more stuff to get out here. There's there's a secret here. Yeah, there you go. Look at this. I'm pretty yeah, sure that here. this is part for Mac. There, there you go. White bare bones, K9 head. So I've got to unlock the new head for him. Uh, but then I need to like research it, and then I need to uh, add it onto him. Um, right, over here then. All the parts. All the parts. That's what I want. You can end up going quite fast, which is really, really good. Once uh, the pylons were up and running, we figured it would take about 200 years to stabilize the environment. Of course, if any of the pylons can I get in this? All bets were off. Nope, can't do that. Okay. So we're this way. Come on. We can get in there. Where's Mac gone? There he is. That's good. Okay, we need to be inside. This door's all powered down. Whew. Wonder if I can use that core we found to give it some juice. Insert core. Requirements. Ah, okay. So this is like, um, sort of like your raids. Now this is why I like this game, is because you need... So this is a prison core. I've got one prison core, which needed to open up this. Yes. And what go. happens is you go in and it's like a raid area. So it's like a specific area where you need to go do a set amount of challenges and you get rewarded with stuff at the end of it. And some of those rewards are prisms, which you can use on harder, like, dungeons or raids. Um, and then you basically just continue on like that throughout the game. Um, so it reminds me very much of, um, like, old arcade games, where it's like, you've got an open world map, but then you still need to go to certain places and do certain objectives. Um, but it unlocks more stuff uh, throughout the world, which is really, really cool. Um, anyway... Um, we've managed to make it to the pylon, we've upgraded Mac, um, and we've uh, got a lot Feels of gear. Of so, oh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We're going to be continuing on with the uh, pylon 512 right, in the next the episode. Controls. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. So, uh, bye for now. Yeah.